My name is Mark Walsh from Integration Training. This is a short video on how to integrate wisdom traditions into modern ways of working with computers. The wisdom traditions when integrated can be very, very beneficial for reducing stress, for uh, better improving our relationships, for increasing our productivity, for being happy. Um, and what I've noticed is they don't always integrate very well into modern ways of working. I would, for example, go on retreat, do an Aikido camp or a meditation camp, and I'd come back and I'd feel great, but within a few hours of, of starting work again, I would have completely forgotten about it all and be lost in this, this modern way of working. So here are five uh, very simple, quick and easy tips for integrating these two different worlds. First one is taking mindfulness breaks at the computer. So you can have uh, some software set up like RSI interruption software. You can have, it will actually stop what you're doing on your computer. Or uh, you can use an app on, uh, on phone like uh, Mappiness is a good app which you can program to interrupt you randomly a number of times a day. And when that happens, you might just take three deep breaths. So three deep breaths down into the belly. Next, let's look at posture. So what I've noticed with myself and other people working um, with computers a lot is they tend to forget about themselves physically, even to the point where they might uh, only realize they need the bathroom right at the last minute or forget to eat the whole day because they're not really feeling their bodies. This has some pretty bad health, health, uh, health problems associated with this. So coming back to posture, spending a moment to put the head on the hips, to sit straight yet relaxed, uh, link to another video on a, a bit more on that. Spending a few times a day doing that, bringing yourself back to your body can be really important. Likewise, you might have an emotion check a number of times a day. So you're really checking in with yourself rather than being lost in this, in this machine. So I notice the difference between myself physically and the computer. I, I like to feel the computer as a tool. So I feel that barrier. So I might tap my fingers on the computer, notice it's different. I might squeeze my phone. This is one I had recommended to me to, to notice that I'm not a part of my phone. Now that sounds, um, sounds common sense, however, I think for many people, uh, they're losing that distinction. Yeah? So just gripping it, giving it a squeeze, I notice that this is a tool I can go to, I can put down at the end of the day, to walk away from that. Another simple tool from the spiritual traditions is working with intention. So this can be very simple. It could be, well, every time I send an email, I say, well, what's my intention here? Every time I do a tweet or a Facebook update, What's my intention? Just asking that question for me has tremendous power and I might decide that I'm, you know, actually I don't, I don't want to do that. Um, that will save you a lot of time and trouble as, as much as anything. Last one um, is a well-wishing reminder. So some Buddhist traditions have a form of meditation called Metabhavna meditation, which means uh, loving kindness meditation. And in the context of using a computer, using social media, this is just well-wishing. So I might used to have a post-it note on my computer that just used to remind me saying, uh, may, may, all, may all the people I come into contact with online be healthy, happy, and free. May they be well. You know, there's different ways of voicing it, but it's that general well-wishing to everyone out there that these tools give us the ability to interact with. Not a lot has been written on this area of how to integrate the wisdom traditions with the modern technology. So I think it's exciting, and I'd love to hear your comments and thoughts on this. Um, there's a book called Wisdom 2.0, that's one of the few books out there, I recommend that. There is a retreat that I'm planning next year with a Buddhist teacher, so if you're interested in that, drop me a line. Um, there's a website called Buddhist Geeks, which touches on some of these issues as well, so there's a few resources. You're of course welcome to ask me questions on the comments uh, below this video, I'll answer those. And if you're interested in any more serious training in this, then of course get in touch. So it's, it's mark at integrationtraining.co.uk. Thank you.